Hello students, welcome back to Plus2 Economics YouTube channel. Now here in this video, we are talking about two very important topics. One is tax and other is subsidy. Now tax and subsidy, both these concepts are asked for you for either one mark or two marks. But if you are aiming at 100 on 100 in economics, it is very important for you to make sure that you know these little concepts very clearly so that you can answer them and do not lose any marks in any section. So come let us discuss the various facets of tax and subsidies. Right then, as told in the uh, introduction, here we would be discussing this important question, taxes and subsidies. These are again one and two mark questions that are asked in the examination and we should make sure that we learn these answers really well and, and ensure that we don't lose out on those one and two mark questions. Let's start. What are taxes? Of course, this is uh, taken from the internet and this is basically for us to understand what exactly tax means. It is a compulsory contribution to the state revenue. So here, state stands for the country or the government. Okay, So here, it is a compulsory contribution to the state levied by the government on workers' income. So on what are the things we pay tax? We pay tax on the income that we earn, business profits, the profits that we make, and add it to the cost of some goods and services and transaction. And there are taxes that are levied on goods and services and all the transactions that we make. For example, for the transactions that we make in the bank, we pay tax. For the goods and services that we purchase and use, we pay tax. For the incomes that we earn, we pay tax. For the profits that we make in the business, for that also we pay tax. So it is a compulsory contribution that we make towards the government and that is called tax for us. Name the different types of taxes. This can be a question for us in the examination. There are two types of taxes. One is direct tax, other is indirect tax. Direct tax is where the SSC or an individual pays the tax directly to the government. That is called direct tax. Very simple. When the tax is paid directly to the government, it becomes direct tax. Example is very important, very generally, very commonly asked in the examination. Example for this can be income tax. Please remember, example for direct tax is income tax. Then what is indirect tax? Where an individual or a business pays the tax to the government indirectly and not directly. So that becomes the indirect tax. What could be the example for this? Example for this can be GST, goods and services tax. Remember, direct tax is paid directly to the government. Indirect tax is paid indirectly to the government. Say, for example, under income tax, we go and purchase a soap, right? So when we purchase the soap, for, we just pay the MRP, maximum retail price. In that, the tax amount is also included. We will not know what is the tax amount that we are paying, but in the MRP itself, it would be included. So such taxes are called indirect tax. Best example for this is GST. So what are the questions that you can expect in this part? Define direct tax, give an example. What is indirect tax, give an example. So you just have to tell what is direct tax, indirect tax and give example and you will get the allotted marks. Or another question can be distinguish between direct tax and indirect tax. All these are two mark questions for you. Very important. Hope you have understood this. Let's go ahead. What is progressive taxation? I have taken a old income tax slab here. It has changed, but this will help us to understand this topic of progressive taxation. See this, up to 2.5 lakhs, there is no tax. Between 2.5 lakhs, 1 rupee and 5 lakhs, it is 5%. Between 5 lakhs, 1 rupee and 10 lakhs, it is 20%. Above 10 lakhs, it is 30%. So what do we understand? What do we analyze here? As the income is increasing, the tax is also increasing. So what does it mean? It means that higher the income, right, greater is the tax. So this kind of a taxation is called progressive taxation. Higher the income, greater is the tax. So that is progressive taxation. Indian income tax system is progressive in nature. If you earn more, you spend or you pay higher income tax. This is to be remembered. Let's proceed ahead. What are subsidies? Again, very important. 
This is taken from the internet. It says, the sum of money granted by the state or a public body to help an industry or business keep the price of the commodity or service low. Let's take an example. Say fertilizers are supplied to the farmers at reduced price. Say there is a company and this company sells fertilizers to the farmers. Say farmer would pay, for example, 80 rupees per bag. Say the price of that bag is 100 rupees. So who will pay the remaining 20 rupees? The remaining 20 rupees is paid by the government on behalf of this farmer to this company. So this 20 rupees becomes the subsidy. So subsidy is paid by the government on behalf of the consumers to the producers. So that becomes subsidies. Let us have a quick analysis. Taxes would increase the prices of goods and services. Always remember this. Whenever tax is levied either on a good or a service, the prices, the final prices of it increases. And there is a good chance the demand might also decrease because we know that price is inversely proportional to the quantity demanded. So what happens when price increases, quantity demanded decreases. So if government wants to discourage the usage of something, government might even increase the taxes on it. For example, cigarettes. Government doesn't want people to smoke because it is hazardous to health. So government keeps increasing the tax on cigarettes and alcohols and other, alcohol drinks and other things. So when taxes are levied on a good or a service, the demand might reduce because the price increases. What about the subsidies? Whenever subsidies are allotted or allocated by the government on a particular good or a service, the prices would reduce. The prices would reduce and this might increase the consumption of such goods. Say for example, solar heaters, solar panels, because government is encouraging the use of alternate source of energy. So such solar heaters and solar panels are provided at subsidized prices. Government is giving support to the sellers as well as the buyers. So this is something which we have to remember. If you are aspiring to take up your CA, CS exams and all that, this kind of analysis will come in handy. Right, uh, I hope this video was of some help to you. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts regarding taxes and subsidies, you can leave it in the comment section. We will get back to you with the answers. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please do subscribe and get all the updates regarding the plus two exams and economic subject. Thank you so much for watching the video.